Today, I'm gonna build a DIY profile weight plate rack. Hey, this is Greg with Discovering Strength, a channel focused on fitness tips, product reviews, and occasionally a how-to for the average guy or girl trying to get in shape through strength training. If you like what you see, consider subscribing below. All right, so today I'm gonna build a DIY uh, profile weight plate rack. Um, I'm gonna put it right here next to my rack. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the materials I'm using today. All right, so let's first talk about all the materials I'm using. So down here, um, first I'm using uh, a single two by four. This is eight feet long, but I actually cut off about a foot and a half to make it a little bit shorter. Um, you can tell I've actually spray painted it. I want it to look like metal, so I got some uh, this Rust-Oleum uh, uh, spray paint. So I'm just spraying that and the other components with the same color. So I am using uh, steel pipe used for plumbing. Uh, I got these pieces at Home Depot. These right here are the portions that will attach to the 2x4. And then I simply screw in uh, the other pipes. These are called floor flanges. Um, I'm using, all the components are for three quarter inch pipe. Um, so I'm gonna use four of those for, to have four posts. And then these pipes are uh, 10 inches long. Okay, so some of the materials you're gonna need, uh, I've got these sleeve anchors. Uh, I am, attaching my rack to a cement wall. So these are cement anchors and I'm gonna first anchor the two by four down and then I'll add the other components. Um, then you're gonna need some drill bits and a drill. The other thing I'd mention is I used a circular saw just to cut the two by four a little bit shorter and then to keep everything um, centered and whatnot, I've got a level and a tape measure. All right, so I'm gonna start by mounting the two by four to the wall. So I put the two, two by four up here where I want it, and then I went ahead and added the marks to represent where I'm going to uh, drill holes and where I'm going to put the, the posts. So my plan here is to use six cement anchors. So I've got those sort of evenly distributed here and I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the wall. So sort of as expected, uh, drilling into the concrete wall is proving to be a challenge for me. That's sort of why I avoided projects like this in the past. Uh, so it took me quite a while to drill in, and now I'm gonna try to put the anchors in there. All right, so following the, the directions for these cement anchors, um, I pre-drilled the holes, and then I'm going to use a hammer to just hammer this in. And then the way this works is you then tighten this one end once it's all the way in. And this end here makes the other end kind of flare out and that's what keeps it uh, secure in the wall. So I'm gonna use a hammer, maybe a rubber, rubber mallet to try to hammer this into the wall. So surprisingly, 
those anchors went in quite easily. All I had to do was hammer them in. Uh, I had to make sure that I drilled with enough depth so that the whole thing could get in there. And now I'm just going to tighten it. All right, so I went ahead and tightened all of these down. And this thing seems super secure. Uh, I will say that I had planned to put six of these anchors in, um, but I had a heck of a time trying to get two of those holes drilled. So I just abandoned those two holes. Uh, but I think with the four anchors, I don't think that thing's going anywhere. So the next step for me is to attach the floor flanges. Um, I've marked them here where I'm going to put them. And we'll go from there. on there and now I'm going to add the pipes. I'm just going to screw them right in on the thread. All right, so just added the pipes in there and this is the finished product. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'll throw some weight on there, see uh, if I have any issues. The one thing I can already tell is that with this 10 inch pipe, um, I'm gonna have some issues putting my weight on here and running into these other ones. So I may have to uh, either move this around somewhere else on my rack, um, or I might have to get a little shorter pipe right here. So here's how it looks with bumper plates on it. Um, it looks awesome to me. And actually, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that big of a, an issue trying to get these plates on and off there. Uh, but we'll see over time what I think about that. Um, it seems really sturdy to me. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with that. At this point, I don't have many bumper plates, uh, but that's because I didn't have any storage space for it. So my plan is to probably put 45s on the bottom, 25s, maybe 15s, and then 10s. All right, so I think if you look at the alternatives to putting in a profile weight plate rack, um, the one I was looking at was the PRX profile unit. And after paying for shipping, it was gonna come out to be about 140, I think. I think it was also on back order, so I was gonna have to wait a little bit. So all in with this, um, and also getting all the stuff to attach it to my cement wall, that's put me at, at about $85. Um, not a huge savings, but still a savings there. And if you're attaching this to a drywall, um, I think it's gonna be even a little cheaper for you. So you, you may be looking at anywhere between uh, 60, 65 um, to 85 dollars. All right, so there you have it. That was the tutorial on the DIY profile weight plate rack. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you got any questions or comments, and we'll see you next time.